it might fuel you. Oh, you're so angry. And if life was just about feeling better and fuel, but then we should all do cocaine then. Cocaine will also give you fuel and make you feel good, but it is destructive. <laughs> You know, today I want to talk about anger. And there is some conversations by some who would tell you how anger is a useful emotion. There is righteous anger. It is fashionable to show rage. The Stoics disagree with this. The Stoics do not believe anger is a useful emotion. I don't know who said like anger is like drinking poison and thinking the other person will die. So let's talk about anger today. Well, well first off, let's get to what anger is. You know, anger is usually not a thoughtful thing. You don't sit around and plan to be angry. Anger is usually this reaction to something. And what does anger produce? Let's, for the sake of argument, talk about what is the productive thing that this anger, this feeling of, ah, what does it produce? Look, you may feel a little bit better, right? It might fuel you. Oh, you're so angry. And if life was just about feeling better and fuel, but then we should all do cocaine then. Cocaine will also give you fuel and make you feel good, but it is destructive. I, I want to read you Marcus Aurelius. Keep this thought handy when you feel a fit of rage coming on. It isn't manly to be enraged, rather gentleness and civility are more human and therefore manlier. A real man doesn't give way to anger and discontent and such a person has strength, courage, and endurance unlike the angry and complaining. The nearer a man comes to a calm mind, closer he is to strength." End of quote. Any person who's feeling angry, that does not come from a place of strength. On a practical level, it also accomplishes nothing. Think about the time you've been angry and you've been screaming and you're doing all of this. What did it actually accomplish? It also depletes your energy. So something happens instead of saving your energy to do something productive about it, to, to be thoughtful about it, right? Your brain power uses energy, your physical things use energy. You instead divert all of your energy to anger and then you are drained and you can't think clearly and you don't have any energy to do something productive. And maybe for me, the most irrational part about anger is you are now being controlled by somebody else when you're angry. Why? Because generally your anger comes from something happened, certain circumstance, you're mad at society, your husband, your wife, your someone who cuts you off on traffic. They are now controlling you. Let me read you a quote from Epictetus. Any person capable of angering you because Comes your master. He can anger you only when you permit yourself to be disturbed by him. End of quote. So you all of a sudden, you are Mr. or Mrs. Independent and you have control over your own actions and your own thoughts. And all of a sudden, you outsource that and give away your own agency in exchange for feeling better. Ah, oh, I got that out. You know, stoicism is about focusing on what you can control, your own thoughts, your own actions. Why would you cede all of that? Because some other person made some decision and then you then outsource control over your own life to them. So how do we deal with anger? Let me read you Marcus Aurelius. The best plan is to reject straight away the first incentives to anger, to resist, resist its very beginnings and to take care not to be betrayed into it. For if once it begins to carry us away, it is hard to get back again into a healthy condition. Because reason goes for nothing. When once passion has been admitted into the mind and has by our own free will been given a certain authority, it will for the future do as much as it chooses, not only as much as you will allow it. The enemy, I repeat, must be met and driven back at the outermost frontier line. For when he has once entered the city and passed its gates, he will not allow his prisoners to set bounds to his victory. Do not allow anger to get started because once it's rolling, it's taken over. You are all of a sudden now yelling and screaming at that light for someone who cut you off. It's taking over. You no longer have your own agency. So it's making sure we talk about the tools and the skills you need to make sure it never takes hold to begin with. So how do you prepare yourself so that you do not fall victim to anger? You've been listening to an Amos Talks production.